traveling marine and today we will be discussing with the engine cadet she is on board almost for four, four to five months now and we will get her experience till now what she has learned what is uh, what is her advice to the other students or other who like to join as a marine engineers so today is a sunday and it's a quite free day for us and we'll utilize this time to discuss something with her regarding the job scope and her responsibilities anyway for cadets there are no specific responsibilities they are here only for training so while this training we are assigning some jobs with the duty engineer's assistant so they can learn they can be familiar with the equipment and machineries and the scenarios especially in case of emergencies with the operations with the maintenance with the troubleshooting this all will be uh, sharing with the cadets and will include them so they also can be learned with engineers so in the future they can work as a marine engineer when they are already familiar with the equipment and the machineries so today here engine cadet Jaishini is with me and will ask her how is her life and why she want to become a marine engineer Jaishini yes again how are you I am good how is life on board life is very good so just tell me about yourself to our viewers. Yes, I am Jaishni, Engine Carrot. I completed my bachelor degree in Marine Engineering. I am coming from Tamil Nadu. I chose Merchant Navy because I wanted to make a strong and independent life, life for myself. Financial stability is very important to me and this career offers opportunity earned very well as a very young age. As a woman, I want to break stereotypes and prove that we are equally capable in this male-dominated field. So, beginning of the video, I want to tell something. This video is not sponsored from any of the maritime college or the companies. Uh, we are doing this documentary just to share the Jaishi's experience with uh, other girls and other cadets who want to become marine engineers or who is interesting in this field. It's just a random video. But uh, this is done only for the educational purpose. So Jaishin, what motivates you to come on board? From childhood, I have been fascinated with the sea because my father is a fisherman. That's the main thing I fascinated about this field. And I wanted to make my career strong and build an independent life more life for myself and I wanted to make my family financially very stable and this career offers uh, the opportunity even very well as a dear engage. Yeah, that's I agree with her. Normally people who comes to see just to earn money, nothing else. So because you are staying away from the family or yes. friends for a long time and uh, let's say your young age you have sacrificed for some time yes. just to earn money, nothing else. So. Uh, so that that's the inspiration that's how she got inspired and her motivation so she want to be financially stable yes. in near future yeah? yes but the, being away from the family is the very toughest job toughest part of this job but i want to make my family very financially stable that's yeah it. i understood yes. so so she got some responsibilities so yes. she is facing that and till now she is doing good so with uh, our experience from our side so then can you share a little bit about your educational background how you started this one in india yes after completing my 12th standard i joined b in marine engineering bachelor degree in marine engineering in tamil nadu yeah so because this training program will be different from country to country uh, in sri lanka it's different criteria in india it's different criteria normally they do with their bachelors then they're joining uh, ships, but in Sri Lanka it's completely different as we know we have to do our air levels then we have to do the uh, maritime training then you can join as a cadets on board to complete your cadet training see now as a girl you are joining completely different uh, environment yes. new people different people sometimes maybe strangers and uh, staying away from the family maybe for five to six months or maybe longer so how did you physically and mentally prepared to adjust this one? How you prepared yourself? First the physical fitness, we have to pass this medical examination as a company procedures. And especially 
for engine room we have to work we need some fitness yes, yes. so in engine room yes. so day to day operations and in case of emergency so you have to be physically fit yes so what about the mental how mentally, did you prepare mentally i prepared by learning and talking to experienced seafarers and but now on board people is a very good and friendly cooperative with work and it's good very good yeah because of this uh, equality thing now we treat everyone same yes. and this gender equality and all so and the har- harassment procedures are now really good so if they if they feel something is not right if they feel not comfortable they have right to complain yes. they have this harassment yes, they, and bullying bullying is there so this there are strict procedures for this so even for young girl like her so they are it's quite safe right correct or wrong yes so the environment is safer not Out like of earlier 21 22 crew members only two one to two girls are on board yeah so especially it's very hard to overcome this but it, i know it would not be easy but i, I also worked on building discipline and positive mindset yeah that's all about the their morale as well yes and uh, how you know you were staying away from the family for quite long time how was it in the beginning yes first first initially one month uh, being away from the family is the very toughest part but i try to stay connect with some video calls and messages it's very yeah because this internet is yes. really good now for the seafarers so now they, on board is internet is internet is very good yeah i mean we are not happy with the speed and the yes. amount and all but still something yes. is better than nothing so we have some amount of internet for daily usage that is uh, that is enough for us say enough for us for managing yes. this uh, emotional and the contacts with the home so then we'll just come to your daily routines and all how is your typical day in engine room yeah. because now uh, again uh, for cadets there are no direct responsibilities normally any time if she is going for any job or any maintenance any routines and the stuff she'll be going with the duty engineer or the senior engineer yes. so it can be junior engineer can be senior engineer so then while we are doing the job we will be training her we will be training the cadets as well like first uh, two weeks and maybe first month will be mostly training only then once they are familiar once we are happy with their safety culture and the working abilities then slowly we will be assigning small jobs not not the full responsibility but with assisting with engineer accordingly there are some small responsibilities yes. are given to her what are those how is it your day is going in the engine room normally my day starts with the toolbox meeting after that i go to take my rounds full of engine rooms around 1 to 2 hours let me let me disturb now people are not from this field will think what is toolbox meeting mm-hmm. why are going to do use tools for the meeting yes. so it is just a name it is a safety briefing every day morning when we come normally we comes at 8 o'clock in the morning once everyone here normally Second engineer. Uh, second engineer will be myself will be conducting a small briefing what is our daily plan what are the jobs carried out to yes so today? that way everybody knows what everyone is doing on the in the engine room so that we that way our safety uh, will be enhanced yes correct this that is called toolbox meeting this thing is discussed for short time not for long time will be describing the jobs then we discuss about the permits what are the permits to be made how to sign once this all done then only we go for the job so that is called safety meeting toolbox meeting yes. safety briefing this all you see for same name then after toolbox then meeting after you will toolbox meeting i go to take my engine room normal routines normally i taking engine rooms with the normal routines with checking parameters temperatures what are the pump pressures if any leaks are there in visually abnormal emissions any abnormal noise any abnormal temperature I have to inform this watch keeping engineers, assist with watch keeping engineers to carry out my duty. Yes, so that's the daily routines. Normally, when we take rounds, daily we once we come to the engine room, we call it we are manning the engine room. Once engine room is manned, we have to take proper rounds up from top to bottom. We call it funnel to tunnel. Yes. When we take in these rounds, we have to check so many parameters, any abnormalities, any abnormal noise, any abnormal uh, orders, any smells. so these things we have to check audibly visually this all we have to check thoroughly so normal normally this about this rounds we are taking three times per day in the morning when evening and late nights for late nights normally we cannot keep engine cadets for the engine room so normally duty engineer comes with the 
oil or something like that so now we are already on board 6 month yes. correct 5 to 6 month so what are the challenges you face so far or any unexpected situations emergencies if you want to share anything yes the biggest challenge is adapting to this shipboard environment is the very tough and long hours being alert and focused when even tired requires the mental strength that's true because uh, sometimes our we are not working just 8 to 5 daily yes sometimes we have to work after hours sometimes we are arriving ports departure ports cargo operations bunkering so we have to be ready 24/7 any time we don't know because these things like plan plan jobs okay we can take proper rest and we can plan and focus and plan but sometimes the emergency comes and all then we have to be ready we have to be alert so we have to be mentally prepared 24/7 correct so how is uh, entertainment wise uh, while sailing no other than to the job yes. scope how you enjoying life yes. if you enjoying it normally on board parties may be conducted in we every month whenever we get time freely maybe once a month yes. we have a one gathering here yeah? and i have been to shore live in some countries philippines australia in my 6 months 6 months of training I went to three countries Philippines Australia and China also it's very good it's very it was a very good experience i explored many things in many countries it was a even the experience. time was short now we we are getting show leave since it's been a chemical and oil tanker we have limited time yes. for to go and explore things but still you are getting this opportunity for free you can travel the world you can get this different yes you can enter to different countries with the help of our profession So you can visit for short time, get some different. You can have some different food, different. You can see some different cultures. Yes. So that is one It's advantage the of the job. Of yeah. Place. So Jayashini, what is what is your future ambition or your ultimate goal? I want to I become said. a chief engineer. Hands-on technical knowledge, situational awareness, and communications are the most valuable in this field. I have learned by staying open. Focus on my staying goal. Yes. Yeah, so from traveling marina, I'll be. Very, wishing her all the very best yes. to your future and yeah hope to see you soon as a duty engineer yes. watch keeping engineer then yes, yes i have learned theory it helps well but the practical understanding what keep things is running smoothly on board that is the main yes. thing that's true that's true so we need to have theory knowledge for sure yes. we need to have certificates then only we are eligible to come on board but additionally you need to have that uh, situational awareness yes. that is very important then the practically how you are going to use your knowledge that is important so that's what we are doing with the trainings and all that's what uh, when we doing job she will be there mostly she will be handling tools so then your hands get used to it yes so finally what advice will you give for the young people can be boys girls advice if they are willing to come on board yes. if they are searching and if they are interesting in this marine marine engineering field what will be your advice for them yeah for in this field this career offers a opportunity to earn very well as a young age if you want to build a career financially stable it's a very short time if you choose this field is the very good yeah i can add something like yeah the younger age if you want to become success if you want to earn some money if you already have some responsibilities then this is one of the good job opportunity you can do your studies you can join as a cadet then you can do your trainings then once you go and do your exams once you get the your certificate coc is from your administration yes. then you can join as a watchkeeping engineer yes. so another advantage is you can travel the world and for free because you know you will not like some countries like we went to peru chile you may not buy tickets and go to visit those countries yes. but we were lucky we went to south america we went to these countries we saw how that countries so getting visas then no need to buy tickets this all were advantages so that can be the one of the best advantage what i, I would say but uh, it's depend on your ship and the trading areas and the people on board yes some people may not allow you to go show leave some people may or maybe some may have the country restrictions so that's depend on your luck as well but there are advantages there are disadvantages so it's depend how you choose it yes if anyone wants to become a marine engineer so we are wishing them also all the very best and do the research check the good companies check what are the best colleges so because some colleges they are providing you the training ship and all some may not 
So do this research. Do your studies well. If you are doing your studies, your theories well, then you can survive in this field, no matter what. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Jayashini also. So thank you, everyone, to watching this video. This is the Traveling Marina signing out from here. If you like this video, you can press the thumbs up, share the video with your friends, and hope to see you soon with a new one. See you guys. Have a nice day.